Hello everyone. Welcome to a new demo festival. Been looking forward to this actually. It's refreshing to play a bunch of games all at once instead of just one all night long. How have you been over the past two days? Your boy Dardigan's been busy, you know, working. Working hard for you. My god, do I hate having to do more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla though. But just look at the bright side. Once I put out the video over that, it'll all be past me. So that, that's the goal I'm working toward right now. Making pretty decent progress on it so far. But none of that to worry about right now. Tonight we're playing a bunch of games. Well, demos of games. Upcoming games. And all of them, you'll have a little bit of interest. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. As soon as I started streaming, you ganked that rare moo. Uh, we'll use it wisely then, I guess. What's up, Greenhood? How you doing? How the how's the day's been treating you? Since I don't know if Twitch is gonna send out its announcement, let me go ahead and send out mine through Discord. You don't have to do it. This isn't a research stream, so YouTube is you know, I guess screw them. They don't get to watch it. <laughs> they should be already be following me here on Twitch, then shouldn't they? Gonna ask you, Chad. Are you comfy right now? Because I, for some reason, I am just incredibly comfy. I don't know why. It's, it, I haven't done anything special, but I'm just like I guess because it's really nice and warm here right now, and it's a really cold day outside. So it's, it's just nice to be back inside after you know being outside for a good portion of it. Uh, your computer is going burr burr burr. Are you overheating? You got a shirt of your favorite of your. I thought you, for some reason I thought you said favorite canceled cereal. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, no, canceled show. I mean, well, cool, I guess. Let its memories live on as a yo as the shirt fades, yo after repeated washings, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, Rossitron, how you doing? Goku, don't open. All the all the all the legends. Doku Do baby. Eminran, cut stupid. Odsty. Fly, hello, how you doing? Uh, you played this demo before? Well, I'm playing a bunch of demos tonight, actually. Uh, this is the one I, was, I remember seeing a, you know, a trailer for it at, at some trade show earlier last year. And I was like, that looks kind of cool. So I'll, I'll check that out. So that's, that's just the first one of tonight. What's up, Chucky? Chucky, double... Ugh. No. 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 No Chucky's here. You will refer to me as a Dartigan. No Charlies, no Chuckies, not even Charles. Well, no, that one's sort of okay. Hope everyone is having a good Thursday. Uh, well, I've been working on Assassin's Creed Valhalla scripts, so that that should probably clue you into my mood. But look at the bright side. Eventually, I'll be completely 100% done with Assassin's Creed Valhalla and never have to think of it again until your DLC comes out, I guess. You'll call me Chucky or Chuck? Well, hmm. Better get the band button ready. Bonjour. Bonjour. Your real name is Dardigan Moo. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. Uh, you were in it for the meme at first, but now you've actually played Persona 5. It's actually say that it's a surprisingly good game. I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I've always known it's a good game. It's just a very long one. Assassin's Creed script? Poor Dar, we all knew it had to happen eventually. And, you know, now's as good as time as any before anything else new comes out. Can you call me Chuck Norris? No. Pretty sure that, was, that name is copyrighted. Hmm, Charles Jones, that's a very beige name. Well, Jones isn't my last name. Hey, Dargan, how are you doing this fine day? Uh, well, I'm, I'm comfy and warm, but my mind is addled with Assassin's Creed Valhalla script writing. So this tea and this stream will help me recharge. First eight hours of the game is a tutorial. I'm aware of that. I'm very aware. That's kind of a weird choice when you think about it. Hopefully you'll be able to get a PS5 this month. I'm hoping I can get one before April. Or hell, even... Well, it'd be nice to get one before March. But I'm beginning to think that's not going to happen unless I want to play a, to pay a ton of money to a scalper, which I refuse to. Who, who dares speak my true name? 
You have no power over me because you know it. Can you call me Comrade Dart? Are we all communists now? I mean, only if you're doing it ironically. I wonder what Dart's last name is. It's literally, you, my name is literally right there in chat. Guess what? Uh, you came out to your parents. Congrats. Catchy music. Uh, I think this game has an 80s vibe to it, from what I understand. Uh, but we'll, we'll be playing more than just this game tonight, chat. This is a multi-game stream night. Well, multi-demo stream. Uh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be playing this, and there's also uh, Little Nightmares 2 demo. Like, Potion Craft, you know, Happy Game demo, Guilt the Deathless, a couple others. Some, well, basically the ones that, yo, that I saw during the Steam Festival that, yo, got my attention. It's in the 90s, though. Is it the early 90s? Because you know, there's a little bit of crossover from late 80s to early 90s. Like I said, I haven't played it yet. I just thought that the theme of it was like 80s, but hey, 90s is fine too. Demos, yeah, there's a Steam Festival going on. It happens a couple times a year where they put together a bunch of demos for upcoming games. Uh, so I just you know, took a pick of the ones that I liked. Hopefully this game supports controller. And it does. Good. I think this is actually a bit of an RPG, isn't it? But a weird one. Well, we'll find out. Hey, Dardigan, I hear you are pretty smart again. Hmm. I feel dumber now that I read that word. Anyways, I have to head to Walmart again. Hopefully you get a card again. Think you're fucking cute. Huh? Think you're clever? I'll let that, you know, let that condensate and condensation. <laughs> well, there goes the smart again idea, condensation. Well, let's just play video games, huh? Uh, are you gonna play Resident Evil 8 demo? I would if I had a PlayStation 5. But yeah, this, this is one of those y'all. Where game? No. Voxels? I, I guess it's voxels. Or maybe it's fake voxels. It might just be 3D designed to look like voxels. Found a dollar. D and D. Uh, hey, do you want to play some D and D? Uh, hey friends, it's been a hectic summer here in our shop, so just a heads up that we might be running out of the latest issues of the Hockey Heroes or She Bolt. Yada yada yada. yada. Are like these? You like these demo streams? I think this is only the second time I've done it, right? Uh, are you still up? Come, some of us are planning some D and D later this week. Want to join? Students, are you prepared for the new school year? Make sure to follow proper school guidelines. And You have a dentist appointment tomorrow. Make sure you don't forget mom. Why would your mom send you email? Why would she just like knock, come up and tell you, hey, don't forget about your dentist appointment. I mean, we're still living at home. Alien skin eater script. Oh, here we go. Let's see the good stuff. Johnny and Ella sneaking through the cornfields in the summer heat. Hey, what was it that you saw last night? There's nothing here. I heard something. She's a gamer that can't be bothered to leave the room in the 90s. Moms weren't gamers in the 90s. You can't pull that on me. Mom was calling every game you played back then the Nintendo. Maybe it's changed now and you actually have some mom gamers, but in the 90s, no, not, not so much. Like, honey, get off your Nintendo. Mom, it's a Sega Genesis. Whatever, honey. Just, yo, get off it. Do your homework. Uh, small alien rustling. I don't know if I'm right. This is just, yo, yo fl flavor. Setting up alien, yo, intrigue for the rest of the game, probably. So keep it in mind, chat. Aliens will probably occur because this kid wrote a script about them and clearly likes them. Do you wish to sleep? No. Get off that Mario. Yeah, the Marios. That was also another one. You have no tape to play. Pick up a cassette to listen to the song on any tape player. Hockey Heroes. Could you imagine if the new uh, uh, new Pokemon looked like this? 
Yeah, we're going full voxel this time. Your mom was a beast at Galaga. She went to Dave and Buster's for your birthday and she was killing it. Moms can be surprisingly good game. Oh, that is a, that is a mom looking character design if I ever saw one. Jeans pulled right up to the underneath the breasts. Belt wrapped around it. Thick hips. Green eyeshadow. Go have fun with your sister. And now she's probably gonna hit the booze as soon as we walk out the door. She's got the wine coolers already ready. Stranger Things? Yeah, this definitely is a little bit inspired by Stranger Things, probably. The 90s Stranger Things, I guess. Alright, <clears throat> seriously, she's out of control. Get her out of here before this silly cartoon is over. But it's Rascal and Roski, the really educational show. Two squirrels beating each other up is not educational. She'll be fine, plus I'm busy today. Don't you leave the house without her, or you can forget about your allowance for the rest of the summer. Is allowance still a thing, by the way? Do parents, like, still give their kids money? Like, here, here's five bucks, Jimmy. Alien skin eaters. Hmm. You know, I... We are clearly a rich household if this is the 90s. We have two freaking computer, computers in our, in this house. That was unheard of. Good question. I don't know. I've never had... I never had an allowance, but that was because, yo, we were poor. How you... How you doing? Want to tag along with me today? No, th there should be more... Yo, oh, God. I guess I'm bringing you with me. Just don't, just don't, just stand back and go a block away from me, all right? Don't me look cool. Make me look bad. Don't tell mom I'm smoking, too. Only if you bring something for me to decorate my room. How about a traffic cone? Oh. And do. Your parents gave you $10 a month whenever you were in grade school in the late 90s, early 2000s? Damn. One percenters in chat tonight. All right, let's go listen to this, this tape first. Don't embarrass me for my friends, exactly. Can you guys hear the audio alright as well? What am I playing? I'm playing a bunch of demos tonight, Rick. This is just one of many. Modern Goonies? If by modern Goonies you mean 90s Goonies. Oh, that actually just changes the soundtrack, huh, doesn't it? Kind of dig the art style? Well, of course you do. You've been raised on Minecraft. Take mom's booze money. And your juice box. Oh, my Capri Sun. Can't leave home without that. And, man, I, had, I just hate it when I go into the kitchen and find, like, stacks on stacks on stacks on the floor. That was, that was five bucks. <laughs> Those stacks of money has five bucks. Mom, when did we adapt the Japanese yen? Wonder where Meowzy goes every day. You need that high C, you know? And when you're a kid, you need that, you know, extra dose of your carbs. She needs a traffic home before she's gonna leave the house. What, what a darling. You do that in every episode. You can see why it's driving mom crazy. You love mooing? Does it feel good? Must feel real good to moo, right? Missing. Have you seen this boy? He was last seen being used as a mop. I'm get So I'm guessing this game is somewhat inspired by Earthbound as well as Stranger Things. But then again, when you think about it, Earth, Earthbound was probably just... I'm um, Actually, nope, Stranger Things was probably inspired by Earthbound. Just some garbage. Mom's old car. Uh, excuse why a traffic cone is not a stop sign like civilized people. Hmm. Or a 420 sign. You know, I've read they actually have to... Re uh, they've been replacing 420 road signs with like, you know, 399 or something like that because people keep stealing them. Because, haha, funny weed jokes. I bet my dad used to repair it, but he hasn't been around for a while now. My, you know, my neighbors have been smoking a lot of pot recently, by the way. Every time I go you know, outside, you know, out into the hallway to leave, I can, it just fills the, the outside hallway. Like, hmm, someone's having a good time. 
Hello, old. Hello, Dylan. Would you like a cookie? They're freshly baked. Sure. You can trust an old person cookie, right? Blaze it? Yeah. But every day? Come on. And pl the two of them are medical workers, by the way. Like, uh, I'll be your nurse today, man. Uh, getting come in stoned. Very red apple. Woof. That St. Bernard actually has a barrel of, around its you know, neck. Didn't that contain, like, alcohol or something back in the day when they used St. Bernard's for rescue? Is that how you greet my your grandmother? Uh, well, I usually gave them a hug, but they didn't really come up offering me cookies either. Sorry, no petting just yet. You can't pet the dog, and the dog tells you you can't pet it. Why not? I'm a bit shy, and I don't know you. I'll drop by more often. I have a very short-term memory. I don't think I'll remember you when you come back. If I told you my name... Are, are we crazy? Is that what the character we're playing is? I'm just a simple dog. My name's not complicated. It's Dylan! Dylan! You son of a bitch! Could remember that. Dylan! Tell you what, if you bring me a bone from the cemetery, I'll let you pet me. Bone? I don't think you should be eating that. There's a nice crunch to it. Human bones. Oh, I, I'm not sure I want to pet you anymore. Yolinda? Yolinda? Dart acts like he doesn't talk to Dex like she's a person. I just meow at her when she meows at me, but I, it's, I do it because to insult her. Like you lazy asshole. And to say you lazy asshole on count, it's usually like meow. This is Michelle's treehouse. Keeps all her best merchandise up top. I'll let you up if you bring me some Christmas lights. I'm beginning to see a theme here of everyone wanting something. Where can I get those? Well, by logical analysis, we can deduce that it's summertime. So you might want to look in your basement or storage room. We don't have a basement in our place. I guess let's look in other people's houses. I'll go rob other people's places to give you goddamn Christmas lights. Sounds like a smart plan. Trash rats. Hey, back off. Who are you? He's not legit walking around like that. Can I get past... Lots of Tim... Uh, we're, we live in a rough neighborhood, Jet. <laughs> we have raccoon gangs. That's a timber, this one. Looking for trouble. Go back home, pal. You don't belong here. You came to the wrong street, motherfucker. I can take you guys on. You know, I would not fight three raccoons. I'm sorry. This kid is dead and possibly going to be you know, infected with rabies. You need to find some allies before challenging us. Yeah, we don't fight when it's too easy. The raccoon mafia. Hey, they got masks on already. Fine, I'll, I'll go be my big sister help you beat you. <laughs> not some low-level NPC. Oh, they got in, in meta humor. This guy has no friends. We're safe. So that's not sorry. Alright, so we can't get into Grandma's house, and our house has nothing useful, so let, let us find things. I mean, by that I mean Rob thing. Raccoons continue to be assholes. Have they ever not been? Chirp, chirp. Kill bird, kill, kill. No. This town is infested. Say what? Who's that? You looking for a fight? Step raccoon, uh, let us not drag the generosity into our yo, holy RPG of beating up your small woodland. W well, I guess raccoons barely count as woodland animals when they're living in a town. Yo, urban, yo, street animals. All right, uh, body check. A quick enemy pushback. Yo, uh, just punch the raccoon. God, this is a weird game. Oh, this is like Super Mario Brother RPG, isn't it? What 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 button is that on my PlayStation controller, please? I'm not sure what these button prompts are. This is not going well. A body check then. No, well it's ah. Uh, thinks I'm using an Xbox controller, chat. 
I'm gonna get killed by a raccoon. I've been pressing X on the controller. Sna have a snack then. Good, delicious high C. And maybe, maybe not fight the, the raccoon until we get a, a partner. Like, red-headed neighbor girl. Her name is literally Red. Pretty sure if you actually call her red-headed that, you, you're gonna get slapped. Use an Xbox controller? I already have my PlayStation 4 controller plugged in, and it's more comfortable. Hey, Dylan! I'm going to Video Busters. Want to join me? And my cat ran away again, and I'm trying to find him. What? I thought I was trying to get my sister to follow along with me, so I had to get her a traffic cone, and get traffic lights for someone else, and you'll get a teammate to beat up the raccoons. I got a lot on my list. Cats come and go. This is the this is the cat. That is the cat way. Yep. Yeah, fuck your cat. Come with me to the movies. <laughs> I think this time he, he left the suburb. Do redheads count as people, though? Of course they do, when they're female. Male, on the other hand, is a different story. Freedom at last. Sorry, I sorry to any, like, male redheads out watching the chat right now. But you know it to be true. I mean, sometimes you have to follow your instincts. You're right, hopefully he's not in trouble. I'll go to Maple Roll Light Road. I think he might be trying to catch some mice. You know, I saw an explosion around there last night when I... On, on the roof. Shouldn't that be a bigger issue? Might be some sort of experiment with TNT or something. Or Ron Weasley? Well, yeah, but... Don't worry, he has no actual feelings. Exactly now the invasion of Bunzilla started. Must be the end of the world, Mr. President. I feel like I'm just... In a, a crazy person's dream. Time is running out. Time is all we have left. Aha, uh -huh, nice. How's the script coming along for alien skin eaters? Oh, just a couple more pages left to do. I'm looking for a good ending. And a love story. Oh, no. Don't don't go there again. Keep it pure. Nope. It's an action horror science fiction bonanza. Although, love story could be good for some drama. I need to do some research. What do you mean by that? To be sure I fully understand the genre. Do you have anyone in mind for the part? Oh, look at this meat cute. Uh, mm, there's... No one. I can help you with your research in a theoretical way, of course. Deal. When do we... Join me downtown later on and we can do a research date. Invitation accepted. You'll need to take the bus. I think I saw a ticket somewhere. Would you like to know where she saw a bus? Yeah, tell me where you... Mm. It's going to be the non-pure pattern, I guess. Well, there's a, there's a meet cute chat in there. Well... I guess. I don't know. Probably wouldn't be in the demo anyways. That would be great. <clears throat> okay, I think I saw one lying around in the treehouse. I need the Christmas lights again. I think so. I'll check it out. Do you have Christmas lights by any chance? Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Uh, can you beat up this raccoon real quick? We can make that the start of our date. Oh, whatever. I'm going to rob this house. <laughs> or not. What are you doing in my theoretical research step, bro? You know, one day that line will be too old to be used anymore. It'll be ancient memes. Yeah, the only thing I can see that I can do is beat up this raccoon. Uh, I don't know what button it wants me to press, so I'm going to get it wrong every time for a while. You would think it'd just be the normal X button, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, no it is! Okay, my, my timing just super bad, I guess. Anyways, let's have a delicious seal cookie. No, we need, we need, you know, give, give me the apple. Kicked a raccoon, you're calling PETA? You know, call him. 
I don't mind at all if you call PETA and they send like beautiful naked models to like lay outside my house in plastic wrap. Like, oh no, look PETA, you're hurting me so much. Stop it. No, go home. Thrash Panda. I, I don't get the timing on that yet. They're sending naked men instead? Oh, well. They found my, you know... They found a way of getting across the... Getting past that, your problem, huh? That's a weird kink. It's what they do. Have you ever seen a PETA protest? They had this weird idea that if you just get hot naked ladies to stand outside someplace with, like, blood, you know, fake blood on them or, you know, wrapped up in plastic wrap, they're like, yo, I definitely shouldn't eat a steak tonight. Who am I playing as? A 90s kid. Judging by the afro, I'm, you know, you know, I'm guessing, he, he, I just have to say it, I, it's a bit of a Jew fro. That's fine, that's fine. Means we're making good money. I mean, uh, we have a bright future ahead of us in finance. Okay, beating the trash panda did nothing to advance the plot. <laughs> Peter really just stand for people eating tasty animals. I've heard that joke somewhere before. Got a solar panel on a car? Wait, you know what? I'm getting your very, uh, Doug vibes from this. Yo, know, someone's gonna come out of this house with all the science outside. We're like, Douglas! Douglas! I hooked up a lot of solar panels, Douglas! Come on in, Douglas! Check out my solar wall! What about PETA eats meat too? Well, I don't know. I know they kill a lot of animals. They, they have a weird fucked up belief. That any pet that exists is already, like, contaminated with human stuff. So they actually, like, instead of, like, you'll... Uh, rescuing pets and giving them new, better homes, they actually just kill them. Because they're tainted animals. Discount Ash Ketchum? Yo, real world Ash Ketchum. I've never seen flowers like these before. Oh, Douglas, that's my greenhouse, Douglas. I got all those plants from Africa, my latest at scavenger hunt. Oh my god, who leave, who leaves the baby out on the yard unsupervised? Agaada. Can I have that comic book? Just take it, it's a baby. Nah. Just take it. Ninety yeah, it's definitely ninety stranger things. Oh, he is the science guy in the neighborhood, isn't he? There was always the science guy in one of those TV sh old cartoons, weren't there? Boost box of matches, burn it all. Burn. Not enough scrap metal. Wait, what? Yeah, I gotta buy that, I guess. He's a baby, just... Well, I was just suggesting the more less violent thing of just taking the comic book since he can't even read it. Lightning rod. Uh, you ever, uh, Dard, you ever the Rugrats theory where they're all dead? I have, but like all fan theories, it's usually just your fan fiction. It, it may be complex fan fiction, but it's just that. Hey, kid, I didn't see you coming. Hey, Douglas! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Robert, what are you working on? Oh, just some crazy idea I had about, I, I had about positron fields. You look energetic today. Going on an adventure. This is that wacky neighbor you would probably have in real life that thinks you can can invent like a you know uh uh what what is it those crazy people always trying to make? Where the, the the endless energy machines where it's like constantly rotating? I don't know. Well, there's like a name for it. But I, I've actually known someone who tried to do that. Endless energy. What's a positron field? Like, they have no engineering degree, but they really think they can invent stuff. It's what's holding the entire universe together. Oh, no. Perpe yeah, perpetual motion. I actually knew so- I worked with someone who said he was trying to make a perpetual motion device. I just tried constantly to tell him that you can't break the laws of thermodynamics. And the laws of conservation of energy. 
He's like, no, 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 no. I, I figured it out. I, I wonder what happened to him. I haven't seen, I only worked with him for a short time. But there's always that one person in the neighborhood who thinks they're a scientist. All around us, oceans of particles are flowing. It never ends. Theoretically, I could open up passages through space and dive. Yeah, this sounds like that type. Like a teleporter? Can I try it out? Or like a quantum vacuum that could suck you in and throw you out of the other side of the galaxy if you survive, that is. Count on me to try it. If it doesn't spin, it isn't science exactly. There's great potential here, but it's unlikely that I could build one. I would need some parts that we on Earth that we on Earth cannot yet manufacture, at least not before another century or so. Can't be made using currently existing technology. If I can get the subsystems emitter to hold the field at high intensity, I could test my hypothesis. I'll let you know if anything comes out of it. All you needed was a baseball bat, some Cheetos, and a trash can. Like a really good you know, you know, set of you know, weapons to fight some you know, uh, raccoons with. I can look for parts to help you out. Well, kid, maybe if you can find an alien spaceship, that would have, that would have what, they would have what I need. For now, I can exchange my old prototypes for some scrap metal. Awesome. I'll have to look around. Go collect some cans for me, Douglas. How was my night? Well, I've spent the day working on a Assassin's Creed script. Uh, this is my night playing your know, you know, demo games for you, you fine folk. That's a lot of solar panels. I wonder what they need. That's actually not that much solar power, actually. Three, th that might power the lights in like one or two of your rooms. Three panels like that. Oh god, it's another trash panda. How far did you get with the script? Oh, uh, I'm past all the beginning stuff. Uh, the first few kingdoms and like the first section of the, you know, Asgard stuff. There's an old fish in here, and you can't have it. Well, I didn't say I wanted it, but the game you know, clearly wants me to have it. Uh, okay. Kill. Eighty more hours left? Well, I, I can speed through the footage a lot faster than I had to play through it, since I can get right to what I need. Can't get the timing down. And I'm dead. Fuck. <laughs> what console is this on? This is on PC. Crash pandas are hard, you know. Not noise. Yo, I need a rabies shot. But for anyone who doesn't like this game, don't worry. We're playing, uh, what's this game called? Uh, I actually forgot the name of it already. Something Echo. But I'm playing more than one game tonight. This is all a bunch of demos. Ah. I have to translate like a Rosetta Stone my my Xbox controller control inputs to PlayStation you know, 4. What have I played so far? This is the first one I've played. Ah, it's on an A. Wrong button. Harder than it looks, chat. Redeeming that streamer energy? Yeah, I can take a sip. Do I not know the Xbox controls? Well, it's like A, B, and X, Y, but when I'm forced to do it in a split decision like that, at a split second, it's like, oh, what was it again? Uh, Z. Use Xbox control. My Xbox controller is pretty shot. The analog sticks barely work. Level up. Select a scat, uh, a stat, not scat, to upgrade. Uh... I'm gonna need more health, obviously. <laughs> Give me that rotten fish. Stick it in my pocket. Is he carrying his child under his arm? What are we doing tonight? We're doing a bunch of game demos. 
get get back get back da, 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 get back what, what is that it's from gone smack isn't it annoying little brats see you try to dig around my trash with this lock in place is that like i'm hoping that was actually probably like a, his waifu doll rather than his actual child Never seen any birds in this house. One of those missing kid po wait. Oh. Did he just walk out of the house with a missing kid under his arm? Ludicrous or some 41? I think a lot of you know, musicians have done the get back. I just remember yo know, Godsmack having a uh, having that line in one of their songs. For some reason there was a there was a point that I listened to Godsmack because I got it as a gift. Get back yeah, you know, something like that. I need to then to go apparently I need to go watch Godsmack. You found mom's copy. Gunsmack, that was one of those really, really shitty bands, and I apparently listened to all the shittiest bands possible during my teen years. I listened to Linkin Park, uh, Godsmack, and a few others. A dirt mound. Limp Biscuit as well. Yes, Limp Biscuit. Link I listened to some of Linkin Park too. They, they ever had a reputation, though. Yeah, I listened to Limp Biscuit. I actually was really into Limp Biscuit. Come on, baby, chocolate starfish. <laughs> and oh, Fred Durst—he was a—he was a poet, wasn't he? Yeah. But did I listen to mindless self-indulgence as a teen? Uh, well, I was your—I know, would—I experienced that. That was, that was basically my life. Grrr. Can I have that traffic cone? I'm such a nice boy. No, it does not follow proper procedure. Procedure? Procedure for disposing misplaced city equipment. Traffic cone redirects traffic in a safe and orderly manner, or there could be an accident. I can take care of it. I'll bring you back to the mayor. I have already alerted the authorities. Also, you are not a designated city official. Godsmack are still charting on active rock radio, sadly, and acts like Puddle of Mud. They're still stuck in the mid-2000s. I don't think there's much uh, room for them to grow as musicians. <laughs> They're one of those bands that have that one thing they can do, and that's it. I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the snake bite into my bed. That's every Godsmack song. You, even it's that one piece of lyrics, that'll get you through everyone. You found a sandwich. Yep, that's that's God smack to it. I'm not the one who. This parking doesn't follow proper procedure. What? Paramore was a shit. Change my mind. Uh, I don't think I ever listened to them. They did have some sick vibey beats. That's the thing. A lot of shitty bands had terrible lyrics, but actually did manage to have some really good uh, your instrumentals. Like, Limp Biscuit was terrible, but they had some thick, funky-ass bass. <laughs> Keep an eye on it. The owner could be back any time. Oblivion Guard Dog? Sure. What's this? You found Traffic Cone. It looks like a cake. Morning, Mr. Bevelton. I'm, I finally know my name. I'm looking for Arius. Uh, good morning, Dylan. RDS has departed to the video rental establishment. Do you mean video busters? Ah, oh, yes, that is the place. Did he leave anything, something for me to pick up? Ah, oh, what could RDS have possibly left for you, peasant? A bag with recording equipment? He's supposed to help out. Be a motion picture, one can assume. Nothing fits that description in the lobby, I'm afraid, Mr. Master Arius will not allow me near his room. Okay, then I'll look for him later. What kind of cringe were you as a teen? You were pop punk musical theater web cringe. I was the old depression and poverty cringe, yeah? And a bit of. I was the loner kid. That was the only way I was safe. 
No one will ever write the sheer poetry of, I did it all for the nookie, so you can take that cookie and st I did it all for the nookie! The nookie! Yeah, I remember that song. That was like the top... That made it to like all... Uh, I remember watching MTV. And uh, there's like a show called uh, Total Request Live, and that, that one was always on it, along with Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Ironically, your favorite music... Your favorite lyric is, I want to kiss your lips, the ones between your hips. Well, that actually, you know, has, you know, there's a reason for that existing, though. Oh well, yeah, we can like convince our kid sister to come with us now because we gotta travel. You know, I can tell we are not the rich kids of the town, are we? Look at look at our house. Don't forget corn. Okay, corn is no. All right, that's not bad mouth corn. All right, they had some awesome fucking first three or four albums. They may suck now, but they were damn good then. Here, have a traffic cone, you weird little freak. Let's go. Now we can beat up the big raccoon gang outside. I should probably like rest though and get my health back up. What are we doing in your room, step bro? Oh no, stop. Stop. Bad. We're in this nostalgic part of the stream now. Well, we always get there eventually. I think Corn are still well reviewed right now. I don't know. I, I've tried listening to their new stuff. It you know it doesn't have the same impact to me. Uh, what was the dog? The dog wasn't looking for the fish, was it? No, he wanted a human bone. All right, all right, kid sister, let's beat up some raccoons. You know, I don't think this is what her mom had in your know, store for her you know, her young children today. It was like, hey, take your sister out today. Let's go fight some raccoons, sis. Deep down, we're all still cringe. I mean, listen to me right now. If you want proof. It's not too late if you want to change your mind. I'm not afraid of you raccoons. A little human is talking. So rude. We're going to have to teach you a lesson. All right. Uh, that's. Uh. Right, let me get my freaking Xbox controller out so I can look at it at the very least when I do that. I'll keep my Rosetta Stone out when I, so I can see what I'm doing. My little sister has a head stomp move. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, sister. Let's go out and play. I want to curb stomp some people. Uh, Mr. 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 Michelle. I'll give you a two months, you know, two months up. Go, go, go uh, gangland on them, sis. I watched American X last night. X Y A B. I didn't do that last one time, but fine, I got enough of them. Let me curb stomp some little bitches, big bro. Yeah. Little sister's got a taste for blood. Not a, this is actually kind of a tough fight for two kids, by the way. Clearly, you're supposed to be hitting that one. High school ended up with your assistant principal as head of the drama department. That sounds like a bit of a demotion. You got any like yo? Oh, okay, we got we got some food. Don't need it yet though. He was still the assistant principal. It was weird. Uh, so I guess they just get budget cuts. 
I was at a school, my very first school I went to actually got shut down because it was so tiny and it got merged with another school. So I ended up getting skipped from kindergarten to first grade uh, in my first year. So like I did ha half that year as a kindergartner and like, oh, we don't have enough money to keep the kindergarten going anymore. You're all first graders now. So I got, yo, moved ahead a year. That was, that was the, that, now that I think about it, that may have screwed me over really hard since I was always a year younger than everyone else after that. And a year makes a big difference in those ages. Also, she -volt. Uh, You just finished up a chapter, uh, just one more and your draft is done. Uh, good luck to that. Uh, you'll have many drafts to go though. Uh, Sis, we're going to turn you into like the tank. How about that? So you get more strength. You've been beaten. We'll stay out of your way. Just don't touch our trash. He means anime chat. You should play this game when it comes out fully. We'll wait. Well, that's what the demo is here to tell me if I want to or not. But it all matters whether you're having fun watching me play a chat. You were supposed to move up a year in school due to your reading level and your parents were considering it, but my grandma convinced them to keep me in the same grade. She didn't want me feeling along, alone amongst... Yeah, I, I agree that was probably a good thing because it sucked for me. I never had a regular school year again after that because I was always a, a year younger than everyone else. Because I also moved to another area after that, not long after that, so I switched schools, but I still stayed uh, you know, a grade ahead where I should have been. And a year is a big deal at that age. Everyone was always taller than me, a little bit more mature, or like, you know, you know still, I don't know. It made things hard. You still have to raid a house for some Christmas lights? Yeah, we still gotta do that. I'm, still, I'm looking for the place. At least this town recycles, right? Mud we live in Mudsville, by the way. Oh, we're in the sticks. <laughs> Good. Ah, oh, now I feel at home. My people. I remember the old the demon clowns that I would often walk by along with the old the, the transformer robots. Nice crack shack. Leave you alien. I'm not an alien. False alarm. Aboard Operation Landfall. It's Operation Landfall. Wait, who are you? Not an alien. That's what the meth tells me. Smoke. I. Sp I always said I smoke too much. I spoke too much. No, 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 no. Nobody can know about this. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge. I'm getting lots of signals lately. Everything is beeping. Are the aliens coming, kid? You're not supposed to like yo know, lead into someone's delusions. Dangerous. Who told you that? Thought in the cartoon they like ice cream. Ice cream. That's good intel. Great intel, in fact. Could it be their weakness? We might stand a chance after all. But she said they like it. They're making a movie about aliens. Do you want to be in it? When you were a kid, a person just randomly stole your recycling bin. We never saw it again. Well, was it cans? Indoctrination of the masses through moving images. That could help our cause. What are you thinking? Sounds like you have a lot of electronics in there. Maybe we could use it as an army filled HQ. Fortunately, I would not be historically accurate. My BC-22 volt transmitter is down. I don't think anyone will notice. Everyone knows about the BC-22 volt transmitter. Except my ex-wife, but she's a bit delusional. If only I could find a way to get a blueprint from the bookstore, and then I could repair it. Have you ever heard of buying one? Too bad I can't leave this operation bored. I might miss an essential communication from the invaders. Makes sense. Hmm. Let's leave the crazy person alone. Should we tell him about the alien yo jester outside his trailer? And the and the giant fucking rats. What? Oh, that don't look like the safe part of town, does it? Kill Jesta? You look a little strange. Are you supposed to be a puppet? Ah, oh, but we are all puppets. Can I hold you? Lovely invitation, but I'm not into little humans. Oh. What about bigger humans? Oh. 
I am into puppets. Puppets. Oh. All three answers were wrong and bad. There should be a name for that. Badab. Wrong. Badab. Wrong. Wrong. Bad. In fact, I'm looking to raise an army of puppets. I have some dolls you can borrow, but they're at home. Barong, yes. Badong. Being into puppets is badong. You can't be serious. I'm taking... I'm talking business here. World domination, not child's play. Oh. They used to be a warrior. Then they deemed me defective. And I said, me defective? I am optimized. Kung Pao Reverence, haven't done one in a while, have I? Then I ran away with my friends in a stolen vehicle. You have to believe in yourself. Precisely. Believe in yourself and get revenge. Revenge? You help me raise an army of puppets, I'll give you this key I found. Interested? Looks like something I could use. An army of puppets. I don't think I've picked up a puppy. I want, I want to wait before I go to the rat, rat house over there. Jesus, we're in the desert already, huh? Hey kid, be careful when you're walking on the road. There might be traffic, but you clearly have the road blocked. Oh, well, I am this main character. Yo, he says the same lines. Sure. We're on the lookout for a serial killer. Oh, I see. We're in a JoJo reference. What does he look like? He's really vicious. Extremely perverted. Yo, yo what kind of serial killer are we look talking about again? He, he, he kill and torture you without a second thought. You could be sleeping, thinking that you are, are safe, and then BANG! Next thing you know, you wake up in a cage and are forced to do unspeakable things. Oh, the horny jello mode has never been more accurate. Like eating cat food or listening to electronic music. Gary. How do you know all this? We have our sources. Blocking this road is our current plan. We'll be trapped in this town with a serial killer. It's Police Investigation Procedure 101. PIP 101. Limit resources. Limit options until the killer is out of options. Until all the kids are killed? Don't worry, you'll be safe with us around. We're working hard on this case. Oh, what are you drinking? Matcha latte. I haven't tried that. It's from that new place downtown called Tea Tunes. Dylan, tell me about the rat. Tell me about the rats, Dylan. <laughs> Alright, there are giant rats just over there. Look, kid, we can't work on two cases at the same time. Yeah, that's nothing to do. Nothing to be concerned about. What are you, a racist kid? That's just where they are. That's just how they are. Giant killer rats seem like something to be concerned about. Take your guns out and pow. We don't carry weapons anymore. Wow, this is a... The 90s were a different time, weren't they? The mayor is trying this thing, like in the UK. Handcuffs and a baton. Be careful, Gaston. Great. This matcha latte is delicious. You know, if I was a police officer and someone came up and mentioned giant rats to me, I wouldn't believe them either. I'm like, okay, buddy, let's uh, let's get you downtown and get you cleaned up. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm going to find Christmas tree lights over there. I just got to say. But you know what, 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 what do we have to lose? Oh, mm. oh, he's got 14 health. What? Ah, wrong button. Oh, well, this is. Do we, do we have a run option? Because we're going to get killed. Maybe they're friendly. Our sister is just really a fighter. She's got a head stomp and now a short jab. Goddamn, sis. Time to call Scully and Mulder. I wouldn't be surprised if they have characters in this that are somewhat, you know, uh, like that. 
Uh, we need to raise his strength up. He needs more damage. I notice the rats don't get cute lines like the raccoons do. Uh, we need HP. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, give her the sandwich. We gotta get Dylan to stop pushing pencils. Alright, uh... Here we go. Sandwich, sandwich, mmm, 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 Even block that still tears me apart. Alright, go kill it, sis, with your short jab. Alright, that one's almost dead, so we can just punch it to death, I think. Dylan just got some rat poison. Yeah, that should be an option to throw that at them, shouldn't it? Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, Sis is dead. We need to go in for the kill. Uh-oh, he didn't die. Uh-oh. Oh! I think she gets revived. Yeah, okay, she's good. It's a miracle. Uh, let's just make her more powerful since she seems to kill everything. Sacrificed her when she was alive. Oh, she got full health. I'm screwed, though. Make her promise I tell mom. Yeah. Uh, more stacks on stacks on stacks. We could have got a, a, a cone for free. What? Is her name just Little Sister? I think she has a name. What is it? Uh, yeah, her name is just Little Sister. She's not old enough to have a name yet, alright? Oh, the 22nd. That was a few days ago. Oh my god, it's like they didn't change the calendar. Oh my god. We just robbed it. Why not? Looks like something bad happened. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Where the shot? Maybe the combination number is somewhere in this room. Famous Highway 31. One day I like to have drive there on a road trip. When I come, I was thinking that it should only be for me in red. I can be in the back, I promise I'll be quiet. I need a driver's license first. Hopefully next year mom will let me take lessons. Cost over $500. I'm sorry, what? What? It costs $500 for your mom to give you driver's lessons? Let's go find more money. You can help me find 500, you can come along. Hooray. Money, money, money. That was 21, and that's... Wait. Name is... Oh, 31. So 31, 22 maybe? It's always that easy, chat. Uh, 
Well, now we almost... We're a quarter of the way there to getting that $500 for driving lessons. Locked. I'll need to find a key. Well, yeah, yeah that, that crazy guy said he had a key. But we needed to get something for him, right? I think that... that what? what you, oh, they, the enemies respawn. Boo! I just robbed someone. I don't think anyone lives there. Oh. I'm just kind of fucked. <laughs> Those sis can really just body them now. Not gonna matter though. Uh, here, have have have, uh, have some coffee, brother. That doesn't revive anyone, by the way. You know what? I'd rather just you know, die. Yeah, I'd love to, but I can't get... Is there like a way you can get sneak by these things? Oh, there is. Good. Alright, we need to get a... I got a piece of equipment for that guy to get the key to get in there. We need to get a doll for him. Uh... Well, what else I can do? Owl has been deaded. Mm. First, we need to go to sleep in my place. So I can get my health back. The dog needed a bone, but I can't find a place that has one. Unless this old lady is going to die and I can take one of her soon. Am I playing with Legos? Shush. It's voxel art and it's beautiful. Is that in the cemetery? I haven't seen a cemetery yet, have you? Look at you two. I love seeing my children playing together. We still can be a family. Mom, why did Dad leave you again? Mom, what are you talking about? Don't fight with each other, okay? You know I love you both. As long as she doesn't attack me with a kitchen knife again. The, the next text bubble better be like, Oh, you're joking, right? Mom, it's not true. I know my little honey bun, you didn't know they were real kitchen knives. And I have them. Let me get rid of all the slicing technology now since you almost killed me. I just sent them out to be sharpened. Until then, we'll be eating corn and potatoes. Well, you did, Lily. All her name's Lily, not little sister. I like corn. Anyway, I have to get ready. I'm going downtown today. Be back before dinner. I'll need your help. Yes, mother. I thought, I, thought she was, I thought he was saying his mom attacked him with a kitchen knife, actually. I was going to say, someone called child services. Alright, I think we can go up here and buy the thing that... I don't know, we needed scrap for that, not money, didn't we? Bogluff, I don't take your US currency. They can track it too easily. Come back with some Bitcoin, Bogluff. Lightning rod. Yeah, I've found no scrap metal. What's up for it. What about this kid? I had that comic. Give toy truck to Bobby. Oh, uh, you found a comic book. And a new skill for Dylan. Dylan. Dude, why haven't you recruited the baby? Their stat attacks are OP. Well, we got a comic book from it that'll teach us a new move. I have to read that or something. I get the flying puck move. Mm, yeah, he already said that. Pretty sure you stole. I've stolen everything I've found in this game. Name one thing I've gotten through fair trade.
Uh, I'll try going in this guy. This, oh, we can just walk into this guy's house that, yo, obviously is insane. And might be this serial killer that we were warned about. Probably is. Getting that, yo, uh, yo, a uh, bad neighbor vibe. I'm not sure I should open this. Not yet. Not yet, young one. A music box. You know, I wouldn't do that when we're sneaking into someone's house. You got us by fair trade? What did I trade for you, chat? Found apple. What are you doing in my house? Says a man with a child under his arm. Oh wait, can we not- did I screw that up? Oh shit, I think I need- I needed those freaking dolls! You- I give stream, you give- you moose? Uh, well, you- you give moose? Well, I, I've given you the ability to give moose. Do you like bury a kid out here? Maybe I can go into the side door. Ah! Locked. Looks like I'll need to find the basement key somewhere. I wonder why someone would want to own these. Seems like a hobby that a kid would have. A weird kid. Hmm, one of the dolls is not attached to the cabinet. Take the sailor doll. Life is Strange 3 taking an interesting turn. So far, it's better than Life is Strange 2. One half, half a Bitcoin to do Persona 5 Royal and Prototype 2. It, so you're saying you're offering me $15,000, over $15,000 right now to do, you know, do those two games? All right, pony up. I mean, you shouldn't. That is definitely not worth it. And so, don't do that. Keep that money. You, you'll make you rich one day, probably. Or you could, No, I would not want Chad to raise $15,000 for half a Bitcoin. Alright, we got the dolls. That's all that really matters, I think. Alright, let's go give the dolls to the clown. Or the just jester. Hmm. Do you think their everyday life is like this? Just go around collecting junk from the neighborhood? Pizza? I need to make- I need to make pizza again soon. I've been- I've been dying for one. Alright. No, no. Sh oh no, wrong person. I need the- the alien. Demo is so long, it might as well be the full game. I'm sure it comes to the end once we get to that, Leo, that door back there. You have a new recruit for my army of puppets. Yeah, I'll trade you a puppet for that key. It looks useful. Huh. This is the first step of my revenge plan. Uh, when the sister is not stabbing the big bro. Yeah, I, I want to hear more about that story. After I conquer the world, I'll remember this favor. Hopefully these puppets won't come back to haunt me. You got the repair shop key. Key to unlock the storage room. Let's try to avoid fighting the rats this time. You have 200 Zack. What is a Zack? Pizza IQ, hmm. I've been craving it. I like to make my own my own pizzas though, so. On an apple, so I, I need to, like, you know, make the dough and sauce tomorrow, I think, if I want to do that. Oh, it's our cat. Meowsy. 
What are you doing here? Meow, meow, meow. And meows to you too. We know you can talk. It'd be kind of weird if their cat was the one that can't... Silence. Hunting. They can probably hear you if you meow like that. Right, well I found some tasty rats around here last week. The cat is the serial killer? Well, all cats are, actually. There's a dead body right there next to him and they don't even notice it. Do you see the legs sticking up over the that pallet? Like, oh, cute kitty. While dead guy is right in their field of vision. But they seem to be much bigger now. It's quite strange. Be honest, how many of you didn't notice the guy's feet sticking up there? We have food at home. Why don't you ask mom for something? Meow, I'm not too fond of this new corn and potato diet. Stalin would approve the what? <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Comrade Meowsers. <laughs> Billy the shop owner might be injured. It's dangerous to stay here. Dangerous? How so? There's a lot of blood near the entrance. Meow, that could be from the dead body right here. Okay, I'm kind of like digging the writing in this game. Mr. Billy. Did you see the murder? Meow, I like mysteries and something is afoot. This is why you were calling me Comrade Dart, huh? Perhaps the giant clown at the back there could have something to do with it. Clowns are evil. Well, this is getting a bit uncomfortable. I'm going to look for mice in the cornfield. Maybe they won't be as gigantic there. So this is the only game you're going to know. I'm playing other uh, games tonight. Meowsy, stay with us. You'll be safe. Meow. Mr. Billy wasn't a very friendly guy, but he doesn't deserve this. Who's going to repair everyone's things now? Don't worry, Mr. Billy. We will avenge you. Don't need to see that. Also, Quarter Ghost. A Quartet Ghost. Thank you for the four months. This is cute. It is It's a very cute game, but it's also, you know, I kind of like it. It's kind of neat. And a broken blopo. Hate to burst your bubble, but this is Stalin's resurrection, not origin. Ah. I knew Stalin was from the 90s. Oh, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's mule thing. Let's try our flying puck move. Short jab him. It's a good character design, right, Chet? Kill it before Matt Pat shows up. That's just a theory. A game theory. I don't have enough skill points. I'll heal her with my big bros next turn, but she needs to attack. Go Gangland X on it. Heals 10 HP, that's good enough for sis. Music's good, it is pretty good. Scott keeps making Five Nights at Freddy's games to torture Matt Pat. That he makes a you know ton of money off it too. So it's you know, best of both worlds. We got the Christmas lights from that. Who would have guessed?
Weirds me out that the next Five Nights at Freddy's will have been in development for three years. Isn't like a much bigger game though. Like the biggest one I've ever done. What, what, is that an alien spacecraft in the background? I mean, they hinted at it earlier. Having steak and potato wedges tonight. Mmm. I kept it simple today. I just ate out. Oh, there you are. Time to go home, Meowzy. Patience. Meow, the time is not yet right. Still hunting? Yes, but there's not a single mouse to be found. Something might have scared them off. What's that in the cornfield? It's burning. No idea. Maybe it's a secret army plane. Meow, it's clearly a spaceship. And you're the expert on this subject? I want to see it. it. Might be dangerous. We should get Meowzy to come with us. Is the cat an actual party member? It's not a good idea to go down there. Please. It might be too. It might be too adventurous. He's just a house cat, after all. Funny Dylan. I'm gonna sleep on your chest tomorrow night. How you like that? Are you not given to your obvious pressuring tactics? Do you think that a fish can also come from outer space? Space fish. Meow, they don't even have water in space. Come on, Dylan, let's go. Alright, we're going. Well, if we die, at least we'll be together. I'm not scared of space fish. Wonderful. My humans are suicidal. To let them die would be, an inc would be inconvenient. And to be fair, I am quite intrigued. Yeah, pretty good. That's a good start, don't you think? I might end up playing that. <clears throat> Alright, next demo time, chat. Next demo. So, uh... Let's see, uh... How about Little Nightmares 2? So what else do you have in store for us tonight? Well, there's a few more after this. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to get to all of them, but we'll get to as many of them as we can. Hmm. Finally, a game that realizes that I'm playing with a PlayStation controller. Hopefully. Resident of Ger Germany... European Union, Australia, North Central. God, every, everywhere's uh, resident in the United States. Uh, didn't know it was going to be such a legal affair. Yep. This is data periodically. Please do not switch all the power if you see this. Read that all. That will be there for an hour. Game is the best experience with a controller. What's up, Lyles? How you doing? Fwins? Hello, Fwin. Welcome to Silent Hill 4 The Room. So you don't play as the Rainco girl from the first game. I think she's in this one, but you don't play as her. Which makes sense because she became a monster at the end of that game. What's up, I guy? How you doing tonight? Oh, we have a loneliness button. Box child. Hmm. This game comes out fairly soon, doesn't it? I 
Who's this? What's this game? This is Little Nightmares 2. Oh, a demo of it though. Just so you know, so aware. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're playing a bunch of demos tonight, I guy. So we're getting multiple games. February 11th, so not too far from then. Have you cooked any good meals like your pizza on the pizza stone was dope? Uh, I haven't cooked anything too fancy recently. I, I did make some really good spaghetti the other day, though. But that's not really what I'd call it. That, that's pretty easy to make. Spaghetti, just like du hot water, dump noodles in. And you're done pretty much after that. When it releases, pull a 90s kid and give Kate a dead controller and make her think she's playing. Some I don't think the little brother trick is going to work, though, on her. On a full-grown adult. How is Little Nightmares 2 demo? I just started, like, five minutes ago. So it's really just the same as Little Nightmares 1. I don't know how much of this I want to play on all, during the demo because I might want to like wait until the game comes out properly. The best spaghetti you ever had was uh, with homemade pasta noodles. Uh, yeah, those are uh, well, I, those are a lot easier to make if you have like a the noodle you know the noodle maker machine for like a KitchenAid or something. Otherwise, you have to cut them yourself. But I'd like to do that sometime, make my own noodles. But I'm not sure how much difference it would make because the noodles really don't have a lot of taste themselves. They're really just there to convey the sauce into your mouth. I thought I could, like, you know, move backward. Did I like Little Nightmares 1? Yeah, it was fine. Thought maybe you had to get captured in it, but I guess not. Okay, I'll just jump over the obvious trap. Going for a little bit of limbo now, aren't they? The one said noodles? Yes, noodles are fine, aren't they? My preference is always like garlic noodles or like that, uh, uh what is it? Yeah, basically just like olive oil, garlic, and red pepper flakes. Olivio, oglio, no olio, or something like that. But I didn't feel like, you know, using a separate, you know, uh, pan to make, you know, make the, the oil, the oil concoction. Like I said, uh, Kay got me a cookbook for Christmas, so I need to, like, make something out of that. Homemade noodles you cook are very he heavily salted water to make it better. Yeah, I always use heavily salted water. It'd be kind of weird to make noodles, you know, boil noodle noodles in non-salted water. Oh, oh. Oh. I was like a hair off, you know, surviving. What's my guilty pleasure meal? Uh, p does pizza count? Because it's probably that. It's not exactly great for you to eat that, I'll eat it, so I try not to eat it too often, but I, I'm going to enjoy it when I do. But I think mo a good number of foods, any, any food in excess can be your guilty pleasure meal. I mean, I still like, I like having a Kit Kat every once in a while too, because it's, it's a motherfucking Kit Kat. Basically, I consider anything that's just, just straight-up junk food that you like is just your guilty food. Or like candy. Like, hey, you know what? Every once in a while, I want some Skittles. Hmm. Alright. Puzzle. Puzzle. 
Four years subbed in Hype Train Conductor. Hey, is that, oh, that's one of those uh, Hype Train things, right? Uh, okay, how do I get over there? You remember Burger King sponsor? I know I'm not eating at Burger King and I don't even remember when's the last time I ate at Burger King. I mean, there's a good reason for that. What do you think is the scariest selling old game and which do you think is the best one? Honestly, I think the first one is probably still the scariest one purely because it was yo know, still new at the time and it had you know, it's so bizarre. It's just a weird game. So it kind of worked better. Uh but I think the other ones have better like story and stuff though. Hmm. Need to cut down the pizza? Yeah, it's not something you want to eat too often. It's like I can almost go up here and get around this side, but it, obviously I can't. Obviously, I need to swing across that, but so I need to figure a way to get up on top of this thing. Is this. Hmm. This is literally the beginning of the game, I think, and I'm already stuck. What? <laughs> It's just in today. You found out that sweet and salt go well together, and Nutella and a sprinkle of salt is being there's. You have salt, and that's always been a thing, though. Hmm. Well, I tried going up the hollow tree, but it seemed like you wouldn't do it. Oh, now he will. What? What? Demo finish? Not yet. Not yet, my friend. It'd be help if I hit the button to grab onto something, though. All right, done. That's right, makes it worse and overpriced. Demo. Hmm. Hmm. Out of splash of par I still need to make a Pargon emote at some point. Well, I don't know what I expected, but I kind of expected him to grab onto the boards. <laughs> Let me try that again, maybe like you know, not jump quite as early. Well, that was even worse. What happened there? <laughs> Let's get a run and go. Nope, you're not making that jump. Maybe I should climb down the goddamn rope. Can you climb down the rope? Oh, but there's that. Never mind. I, my balls are too big. I tried the like the advent you'll to jump across the gap. Not enough paragon in my jump. No, not enough paragon in anything. I don't know what paragon tastes like. That's gonna make all your food. It's like the MSG of magic, right? Put a little paragon in it. You can't have too much. It'll always make everything better. Is this a little nightmares too? This is the demo for little nightmares too. Yes. Who's? I see a trap wire there. I think I have to activate it too. Nope. Just use Whip Fist. Is Whip Fist in your, uh, your prototype too? 
Okay. So did I just throw that shoe against the camera? Grab shoe. Hargon is the MSG of magic. That's what I thought. Because you, you put a lot of it in your magic spells. It's like three part three parts Pargon for everything else. Hmm. I can't push this. He won't grab that. Grab edge. There you go. I mean, I, I, just, I knew it was going to happen. I just wanted to see it happen. Is it just me or this game more like Limbo now than it was the old Little Nightmares? Not that there was a great deal of difference when them, you know, to be you know, from the beginning, but seems like a, you know a little bit too much. Maybe you know, pull that out. Three, three out of ten. None of nightmares. Hmm. I've already got my nightmare. I'm, I'm writing an Assassin's Creed Valhalla script. This game's got nothing on that. Something tells me these leaves probably can steal some more of those traps. Ooh, that makes you feel smart. Give me, keep an acorn for yourself, kid. We definitely need one for that, though. <laughs> Sorry for you, Dardigan. Just going through your footage alone must be torture. Huh? No, it's it's less worse than playing it because I can just skip to the stuff I need. Yeah, I didn't mean to throw it. In the... No, stop throwing it off in the weird directions. I need you on over there. There we go. Here we go. I mean, I didn't have to do that after all. Still not enough to send Persona 5. Well, th playing through Persona 5 is you'll, the exhausting part of that one. That'd be over 100 hours. With, so it's about 30 to 40 more hours than Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And that one nearly drove me crazy. What's all this then? We just finished snow plonk. We got a little bit of snow here, but not a lot. It's already mostly melted. Yeah, the Persona 5 just keeps getting longer. 
I mean, was it really devoid of content back when it came out? And it's like, no, we need more. Strikers is only 45 hours. Only 45. Only. I mean, that's definitely not your above average. Push the T over. No. Oh, 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 I would not want to stand in wherever that is. Blah. Spill the tea. I tried. At least the PS5 has good content. It's got like one game on it that I want to play. Resident Evil Kitchen vibes. They weren't the first to do that gross out kitchen, but a little bit. Don't stand in the pot roast. Hmm. Which game? What do you mean, which game? Nice. At least they gave something to happen when you try that. This is kind of funny considering you're playing Little Nightmares right now. How, how's it funny? I mean, the new one's coming out, so you probably figured you're like, you know what? I wanna, if I want to play the new one, I want to get through the first one. Can't get to Mysterious Child. Stop grabbing everything. <laughs> That will get us through the door, right? You know, if you think about it, we're a lot like a, you know, a pyramid head. Drag our big ass blade around and have this on the floor. You finally decided which game out of the 100 you own because you bought them all on sale and you were playing on. Well, that makes sense too. Which PS5 game? That uh, Demon Souls one. Here's... well, that's not terrifying for a little kid. I'm here to play fucking Pogs. Wondering if that's the, the main character from the first game. I want to take the axe with me. Yep, we're dragging this with us the rest of the game chat. Doesn't matter. We're going to cut off someone's toes. Six was blonde? I don't know. I don't think they ever got to see her hair since she always had the raincoat on. I 
didn't even know her name was Six. I just called her like yo, little nightmares girl. I don't think there's anything in here for me. You, you I think the axe was the only reason to come in there. Is this my Pog Champ emote? No, that's my T emote. But you could use it for Pog Champ if you like. I would be pursing my lips after all. Cut off toes, give them to Bassy. Your toes, give them to me. That's what the community named her, so it's not canon then. We'll just yoink that. Uh, equip col uh, collected hats in the pause menu. Much more appealing. Something about a coon skin hat that really makes you feel like a man, doesn't it? Welcome to the family, son. Oh, they're gonna move, aren't they? If we're not careful, this gr this girl might eat us. I remember what she was doing in that last game. Is this one better than the last one? It feels remarkably similar to the first one. The only thing that's new in this one, I think, is you have like an AI partner for a, you know, a lot of it. A raccoon hat reminds you of childhood because every year in your town they had a whole thing about Pioneer Days. We don't do that anymore. Uh, tradition's lost, I guess. I'm gonna push this. She became the very thing she swore to avoid, though. The little girl there? Well, she also got some, like, crazy power at the end of it. I don't know if she still has that or not. After she beat the mirror lady. Ugh. Less traditions and more, there were only two people who held the events together and then they retired and ended up imploding over indecision. No, uh, that's the, no, well, that's, no, that's sort of the, what causes, always caused it. People like, you know, replace you, don't really care about the tradition, I guess. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. Grab crank. Hmm. Seems vaguely... There is nothing in this game that is vague about its evilness. It's all very upfront. Way down. Nope. 
All right, you you do it then. There we go. Have you uploaded a little nightmare stream? I think I did. Pretty sure it's up up uploaded. Wait, did I play? Um, I get to check. Uh, I'm right now. I'm getting ready to start uploading the cyberpunk vids, since I've already uploaded all the Assassin's Creed videos uh, for the Assassin's Creed streams. So if it happened after that, then I haven't got to it yet. Been dragging my feet a little bit on uploading regularly to that to the to the research to, yeah, the stream archive. Right, so we just go back downstairs and open the door, right? Oh, we can hold hands. This is so Ico. Last stream was the yeah, other. I've uploaded all the Valhalla stuff, so I still got to upload all the Cyberpunk. I've already downloaded all the Cyberpunk streams. I said to upload them. Oh, that didn't kill me that time. Sad you missed the streams? Uh, I mean, yeah, though, uh, sad. Well, you, you'll still be able to watch them. The stream archives are still there. Little Nightmares, yeah, so that would be after this, yeah, so I'll get to Little Nightmares stream eventually. Hmm. Streams for, yeah, the VODs go up on YouTube. Hmm. Can't remember the date of your joining. Well, ne next time you have, you'll have a, you know, an announcement go off, it'll tell you how many months you've been. So you'll be able to remember it correctly. But the exact date doesn't really matter. Just the amount of months. Who would be your favorite game character of all time? Uh, do I need one? I don't, uh, Vivi, probably. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't think I really have one. I just have a lot of characters I like here and there. Hmm... I'm not sure. You'd like to be live harassing the chat? New job, good job, but busy job? Oh, so you can't do that in the VODs is what you're saying? According to the Gamer Constitution signed in 1343. You must have a favorite everything and at least favorite everything. I don't think you do. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be the guy Fox of this, this of the gamers. Then I, I just have things I like and things I don't like. I don't need favorites. Favorites is old school thinking, chat. Okay, I know I can't make that jump, and I can't climb up any further than this. And you can't si side move while you're hanging. Can I push the box? Yeah, push the box. I mean, Chad, it's alright for you to have favorites. I just don't have them myself. Or at least I don't really put a, together a list of them. Uh, am I going to play that werewolf game? I don't know. Apparently it's not very good. And it's never really looked that good either. I'm just hoping the vampire masquerade will be yo, salvageable. What werewolf game? There's like a World of Darkness werewolf game that's coming out, either it just came out, but it's... One, it's Epic Store exclusive, and it's apparently not very good. Uh oh Maybe sneak this time, huh?
Elmer Fudd's had a big makeover, hasn't he? Be very, very quiet. Wabbit season. Oh shit, I thought I was the one who jumped off. Ran right back into the bullets. <laughs> I thought they took Elmer Fudd's gun away. <laughs> or at least that's what I heard. Well, he's not the Nazgul, but this scene seems familiar. can't find you in the tall grass. Oh, bird, god damn it. You can't see his eyes, you're not supposed to. One, one element of horror is being able to tell if something is, is or isn't looking at you. That's why the alien worked so well, because they, they, they didn't put eyes on it, and they gave it just a weirdly shaped head. You can't really tell if it's looking at you. And that was one of the key elements of, it, of its design. Oh, I see. You gotta get into the hole. It's a bag over his head, not a penis-shaped head. Well, that's a very short demo for that, but it basically just exactly like the first game. Not gonna pre-order right now, though. Alright, next demo, chat. Next demo. Alright, chat. Hmm, what should we play? You know, uh, uh, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 failed us. Let's try a different Cyberpunk game. Let's try Glitch Punk. Am I ever going to check out Bravely Default 2? Is it out yet? I didn't know it was out. Wait, this just activated my stream VR. This isn't a VR game, is it? The demo is out? I I guess it's only on a Switch demo or something, right? I haven't turned on my Switch in a while. So, uh, I, don't, I just saw this game was like Cyberpunk. Like, sure, why not? I'll give it a shot. He's asking about Resident Evil Village. Yeah, I can't play Resident Evil Village demo because I don't have a PS5. Well, 
Welcome to the glitch punt demo. By default, you move your character with WA WAS keys. You space to jump left mouse button to attack. Control to switch weapons. If you have more than one, you can alter all your key bindings in the control menu. Alright. So, left mouse control. Oh, this... This is a bit old school. It's not very polite to arrive without an invitation, but here you are, lass. Not very... Okay, uh... So you've been found on the West Island by the Bright Future Bridge. Oh, okay, uh, this is already throwing me off. Where do you come from? Uh... Texas. You know your Resident Evil demo isn't on PC last time? Ca yeah, I know it isn't. But because Sony probably paid for it, I have my I have many names. I'm gonna be called Texas. Alright, cool. You know what? Skip. Texas, I think we're onto something. We'll now begin the cognition test. So we'll let you get into... So it comes first to your mind. Imagine a half-dead junkie laying right under the front doors of your apartment earlier in the morning. All the cops. Correct. They will surely know how to dispose of such an individual. Question. This one will be a time more chilling. They're giving me a void comp test already, aren't they? They could even you know, wait a minute into the game. This one will be a mad tad more challenging. You return home and receive a message that your mother has died. Shed tear. So southern even for you, exactly. How very humane, Texas. You truly think you're not a bunch of corroded transistors. Perhaps I should ask one more question to prove you wrong. Texas, you seem to be a very bright and sensitive individual. One could describe you as humane, so tell me, what is the meaning of life? To not cause any more suffering in the world. Look at him, a philosopher and a hypocrite. Two for one deal. Yada yada yada. Finished my decision. The Commissioner of Civil, you scored exactly zero points on the scale. This denies you a human designation. You're an android. Oh, it really is just a point comp test. Plain and simple. You've entered the city without your consent, thereby you are an illegal immigrant and will be treated as such. Decision is final and cannot be subject to your process. The law is reserved for humans exclusively. You did attempt to trick us, Texas, but we are smarter, more experienced, and better prepared than you, obviously. For now, you are a special debt contractor. Your existence will depend on your ability to effectively take the lives of others. You will not be marked for cleansing as long as you keep paying us back with your work. There's a group of disobedient and Wow. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Who refuse to take the tests we so graciously offer. They think they're better than you, Texas. We will keep you in touch through our personal info com from now on. They really just wanted to make you know, Blade Runner, didn't they? First task away, you should probably answer the call. Contracts. Okay, I'm not... not Really feeling this one, by the way. It's awfully blurry looking, too. Looks to be you, I guess. Don't worry, he was a uh, replicant. A Mick, I mean, a Mick record looking for deplicants. Year is 2021. There's crimes of passion. Crimes of disease. Whatever the, whatever the hover his narration went. What the? Vehicle driving, is there? Cause your sins will be forgotten just like your wife in the lurch. Wait a minute, I want to hear this. Hey. Guy controlling the car is ass. Yeah, this is a little bit like GTA, the old ones, isn't it? Listen to this song, chat. It's beautiful.
Every crime you commit, you raise your. I can barely move properly. This, this game's a big nope for me. I like that the, the, the new the new Christ is like you're know, going for like that Christian rock vibe. It's the original GTA, it wishes. You control this with a... I, I can't describe to you how bad it is trying to control the, steer the car. What the hell is playing on the radio? I don't know. Some Australian rock guy giving a your Christian your your uh, uh, screed. On the ground. Not uh oh. Brave new life you have I got a stun baton. Uh, having fun just finished the weekly homework, so what have we, uh, have you missed? Uh, well, we played two demos already, and now we're playing the, the kind of the worst one of the night so far. The other two were pretty good. Well, well one was Little Nightmares 2, the other one was a weird, yo, kind of pretty good RPG. This is like a weird old-school GTA clone. And I'm starting to see why no one wants those kind of GTA games anymore. I just almost went off the edge of the city, by the way. <laughs> Ow. Did I get a gun? This doesn't look very fun, it is not. I'm done with it. It's Garbo. Uh, how do you... How do you yeah, let's move on to the next demo. GTA Online, you can buy an arcade machine that plays like the first two, two GTAs and they're not fun either. Yeah, I've looked at those, I looked at videos of those being played. They did not look like they're uh, worth the old, uh, the, the, the history lesson, I guess. All right, next demo. Uh, Hidden Deep. That lasted all five minutes. Well, that's just a sign that it wasn't impressing me. I mean that this is pre-alpha. There's no such thing as pre-alpha. I'm really sick of developers using that word. Your game is in alpha, beta, or it's done. Pre-alpha is when you write your game idea on a napkin. The game where you need like some one million to some crazy number like that to even save the game is that really true? Uh, can, this is I think this game is somewhat similar to maybe Carrion. All right, so keyboard and mouse seems good enough. Uh, reload is R. Fire left control and that all looks pretty no. Plant bomb, terrorist scan. What? Okay, there's it's getting complex. Throw rope is the old bet. All right. That was in GTA 2. So how long did it take you to save the game? <laughs> you want to focus on the story and all unique activities. Smallest amount of enemies and shooting. Easy, uh, we'll go deep exploration. It's 50k to save the game. That seemed. Uh, I'm guessing maybe it wasn't that difficult to get 50k. I think this is a game that eventually you play with you know, multiple people.
No GTA 2 is pretty stingy on money. That, well... Hmm. Amazing those games, you'll work out... Oh, well... Fuck. That's like dying to the first Goomba in Super Mario Brothers. Well, no, they are working on GTA 6, though. You just haven't announced it yet. Hmm. One million a day keeps GTA six away. Well, I mean they can they can make money off GTA fives online and then they can like eventually they're gonna need GTA six and it's online to make even more though. Hey Mike, you have a good night. Thanks for being here. Well, shift when running to run faster and jump. I think the the draw for this game is that eventually you can play with multiple people, or maybe you can do that in the demo already. It's kind of like got an old. Uh, I'm sure I guy will recognize it, but you know that that this has something of a original, old school Prince of Persia feel to the way you like move. Like the old ass Prince of Persia. Use grappling hook. Okay, that's that's deep. Okay, that's nice. Prince Prince of Persia, another world, and well, yeah, that the, all those games from that same era. This game looks pretty good. Yeah, this is all right. Especially if, um, since you could play this with a friend too, it'd be even better. So it might be worth putting your party together or something. That it has. I used to play the OG Prince of Persia on your mom's office computer when you were a kid. I remember I saw that on like a TV show when I was a kid. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. I can't play that on my NES. Head for Shaft 02. Oh, no, I think I'll die if I fall down that, so we better use, uh, this. Or is that a ladder? That's a, that's a ladder, never mind. What is this game called? I already forgot the name of it, but I'll definitely tell you once I finish the demo. Kind of like a 2D spelunking game, though. But I think it's like a horror elements too. But so far, it's kind of neat. D didn't I fight a bunch of these things that fall out? Oh, I'm just still alive. Oh, I blew a part of it off that was eating my dick. <laughs> Didn't notice that. Who knows, maybe GTA will do what COD did and update online when they release 6 to keep them up separate. They won't, but... Hey, you never know, like, a uh, Hey, Red Dead... I'm sure they thought Red Dead Redemption's online would be a bigger success than it has been. Or at least hoping for that. I guess the enemy stayed dead. Will there be a Assassin's Creed Valhalla DC? There's supposed to be two DLCs, if I'm not mistaken. One based on Ireland and one based on uh, France. Hmm. I have like limited ammo. Yep, I need to stop that because I I can see it now. The UI is very tiny. 
Irish Druids and and Siege of Paris? Yeah, something like that. I'm guessing they'll be smaller maps, but they'll still be pretty good size. I wonder if they'll be like reusing a bunch of the Paris stuff they had for like the yo know, Unity. Probably not, since that's yo know, way later. Uh, don't know about the Irish DLC, but the Paris one might be fun. Well, like, what was going on in Ireland in 9th century? You can probably guess what it'll be about based on that. Time travel for Paris stuff? That It doesn't need to get even more confusing, alright? It really does it. Druids weren't around by then, so I have no idea. Ow! Well, shit. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? My head felt... <laughs> By the time the Vikings invaded England, Ireland was Christianized? Well, that's pretty much one of the main themes of the game, is the Christian Yule versus Viking thing. So, shoot worm. Imagine if you got sent in this place, chat. I think that was just ammo. By the time... Th okay, I'm reading the same comment now. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. Who knows? It should all, you know, well, be horribly boring. Because you'll be playing the same game, only, you know, different setting. I wonder if I'll have to actually, you know, play those and do, like, a sin video on this, on those. I hope not. How many story-based DLCs did Odyssey get? Just the one, didn't it? With, like, you know, Eden? Yo, no, I, why did I slide? <laughs> Two with three parts each? Oof. Oh, there, that's why I slide. There was ice on the ground or something. Two for Origins. What were the, I know one was, uh, one of them for Origins was like, uh, Atlantis, wasn't it? What was the other one? Can I shoot? Oh, I can shoot. Uh, the Hidden Blade or Bladed Legacy or something like that? No. Was that where you, like, go and kill the king, uh, the Persian king or something? One DLC in Honesty, you team up with a proto-assassin and you're forced into a romance with his son and fuck and have a baby because the devs remembered Cassandra had to have an heir, huh? Wait, Cassandra had to have an heir? Why did she have to have that? The whole bloodline. She didn't ha have any kids. I mean, no one ever used their you know, genetic memories of her. Whatever. Uh, hold on. I'm... Reload. Oh. Like they they like weren't like using. Yeah, you know, they they found. Oh, I'm confused now. Yeah, they they found like their bodies and stuff. I don't know. I, don't know. I guess they would have to because she never died. And they never used her body. Never mind. Wasn't there a thing in the, the original Assassin's Creed, or like Assassin's Creed 2, where once you had a kid, you couldn't see their memories past that point? Wasn't that a thing that they used to have? So yeah, once you had a kid and passed on your genetic you know, information, you couldn't uh, use the Animus to see what they did anymore? Then, then how do you explain Bayek in Assassin's Creed Origins, who had already had a kid at that point? Oh, 
worm fell on my face and killed me. You pointed that out when I was streaming? I probably didn't notice it. I didn't know about that detail until I replayed Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's an issue with Edward also. By that logic, the last thing we should have seen of him was when he woke up on the beach in the prologue. Because he, did he already have a kid? But yeah, you're right. He had a daughter. That's one of those details that I just think they forgot. Sort of like how the Animus isn't supposed to be able to speed through the, a person's life. Uh, which is something they do often in Valhalla at the beginning of the game. And a couple other times, because if you, you can start out as them as a kid to give like, you know, important information that happened to them as a kid. And like, oh, we'll just speed up after this next part you know, to when they're an adult. Then, then why don't you just speed up to the part you freaking need? They used to have an explanation for that, too. All right. Try not to die this time. They updated the software. Oh, okay, everything kills you. This is a punishing game, Chad. I think the argument was the Animus in the first game was basically their first edition and everyone after that was had a better Animus. Layla says their Animus doesn't have the audio trans audio translation bug yet it still happens. Oh, uh, well, I, I know in Valhalla that it you know, has a lot of times where it just hears some Norse. Enjoy. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall! Oh, good, well... Let's just admit the story that they, they, you know, they ignore details when they need to. Updated Animus is their explanation for why Altair couldn't swim, but he's, you know, it's, you know, and, you know. I didn't know they even had an explanation for that. like you wouldn't be able to accurately live someone's life if you couldn't have them like do a you know major thing like swim first game was what's her face tells Besman there's a glitch in the animus that prevents Altair from swimming that's so ridiculous though like what if he swam at some point in his life during all that during that like mission failed I guess but they've ignored a lot of the stuff they established in the first two two or three games anyways In 2, they even said the Animus could allow Ezio to swim and not NPCs. That's why they drown in water. Hmm. Hey, in, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we find out drugs that you make from plants are just as effective as an Animus. Good. Now take the elevator down to the next sector. So, th th everything is off the rails at this point. Getting high is the same, I mean, I don't know how they made, really explained that one very well, but they tried to, bless their heart, they tried. Min losses. Ivor's tripping balls and imagining how Odin's life went in his final days or something like that. But that, that's actually what I... It, well, there is one difference in that the, the drug thing doesn't create an accurate representation of what, you know, was actually happening. Because that was like... That was the way Ivor saw it through his, like, you know, culture and religion of, like, the Norse gods instead of what they were actually going through with, like, their Isu technological civilization. So it's not quite the same as an Animus, but still it got the same thing across. It just you know, lets you interpret things more for your own culture. Down in these these ancient halls for twenty six days. Men, Vernon and Hammock 
Two of your men, Vern and Hennigan, were inspecting a previously unexplored area. Lost contact with them. There was a minor ground quake, but it was enough to cause the entry tunnel to collapse, and you must find another entrance to locate them. Use your terror scanner to find an entry point. Why am I reading that when the game reads it? Didn't you get your ass handed to you by the squirrel in a rap battle? I beat the squirrel. Go to points marked on map and scan them with Terra Scanner. Press M to open the map. Do they make this UI any more difficult to actually you'll see? How you guys enjoy it? This game's all right, kind of all right. I couldn't dig it. Since it's multiplayer, it might be really fun to play with friends too. There's a game similar to this called Borrow Trauma, where you're on a submarine, I think. The map UI could be like Fallout 3 is a new Vegas. Maybe like the original Fallout 1 and 2. You just slaughtered an entire village? Congrats on the genocide. You're a man now. I'm not sure how to use a Terra Scanner, by the way. Alright, well they'll tell me. Uh, Terra Scanner from your equipment menu 1, or you shortcut in. Something underneath me. Scanner can detect empty spaces below you. The second top horizontal line marks penetration range of your explosives. I have explosives? Does Okami ever end? It's a very... It, it feels like it's... It, uh, it does end, yes, but it's a pretty long game. But it's a pretty good one. How do I use my explosives then? Fun fact, with the Last of Us 2 art book, you get a good idea of what Neo originally wanted, like Abby was supposed to be Tess's daughter. She was going to seduce Joel before killing him. That would be weird. Uh, that'd be really weird if they went that direction. Uh, inventory? Weapons, explosives. X. Scan ball drone. We can throw rope to help others. Yeah, give me my... Oops. You know, I'm really liking this game. This is pretty good. What was going to be the reason she wanted to kill Joel uh, you know, because she was Tess's kid because Joel didn't kill Tess? Was it really a... Oh, that, that one would... Okay, hold on. How would Joel not know Tess had a daughter? Maybe she's never told him. I don't know. Some people might keep that private. But they obviously dropped that because it would have been bad. Even worse. Uh, Neridim, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you very much. Hmm.
Was she really supposed to be related to Tess or just resemble her? Uh, apparently she's supposed to have been, you know, that, but like I said, they obviously dropped it because it was, you know, probably a very early idea, I'm going to guess. There's always a bunch of stuff that gets dropped, unless you're Assassin's Creed Valhalla, then they add everything. You know, the one good thing about doing this the, with the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, a lot of the stuff where I, a lot of those uh, little chapters where you're just getting kingdoms to join you, uh, there's not really much to mention in most of those. So I don't really have to, like, make the sin video extraordinarily long because of it. A lot of them I can just, like, you know, either briefly summarize or not even mention at all. Use a scan ball to quickly explore nearest area. It also has other functionality. Look at your help window. Lower right corner, press 2 for equipment use or man shortcut B. Let's try using scan ball. We've got the snitch chat. Hmm. Looks like we're going down. Valhalla did not have a second draft. It was just the first draft thrown against the wall. That, that or they just didn't have to cut anything because they had, you know, their design process is so streamlined at this point. They can fit it all in in a two to three year development time. Ow. It's right under my butt. I can't shoot it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Those weren't there when I scanned the thing. Scan the floor, I think. Oh, there's something below. You must be here. Now try to blast the hole. Be careful. Boo. Now I gotta go down to get. Can I just drop a bomb down there? Stop disrespecting the game of the. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Why are the bugs so aggressive? Do it for Todd. No, do it for Fat Yo Geralt. From he was the only character people liked from that game. Or at least they seem to like. This is harder than it looks, Chet. You posted the photos from the concept art book in Game Talk, and I have to wonder what idea they told Neil no for. I don't think anyone tells Neil no that often. So in that case, it might have been something he decided himself was stupid. Ow. Ow. Damn bugs. Well, at least it's very generous with its your your checkpoints because I'm down here now. Hmm. 
Hmm. We need your grappling hook as a zip line. First shoot your line onto a marked position. Now press enter to nail your end of the rope to the ground. No, I like the spelunking video game. Now jump and hold the rope. I wish I had ways to heal myself, though. Can't even recognize a gif when she gets one? Hmm. Chad, you're so, uh... So testy today, what? Okay. Hannigan has a personal radio beacon, so you can locate him using your tracker. Hoggle tracker. Zero? Oh? Their key use is kind of bizarre. Uh, if you got it, Last Last of His 3 will be the story of Nathan Drake finding Abby. I have no idea what they're going to do for the Last of His 3. That seems like it's going to be a bit of a hard hard one to do. It looks like there's something. You're just casually... You know, it sounds like you're all just casually bullying, bullying video games. Uh, if I had to guess, though, it'll probably be, you know, the third one will probably be the last one, and then that'll be them trying to finally, you know, get everything fixed, cure out the cure of the disease. These things come out of the... As soon as I pull out my grappling hook, I think that's what spawns them. Not a good idea. Sammy and Elderly are bullying you for not appreciating the masterpiece that threatens to mail me a golf club. Yeah. yeah, I'm the one who made a sin video on it. If anyone's gonna be bullied, it should be me, right? No, look. Oh, my knee. Yeah, this game is hard. You were a spelunker like you before I took a bug to the... Uh, you just had to do the ancient meme, right? Had to. Trying to save lives here, alright? I think I am, anyways. People will get mad at not liking the game. That's just kind of part of the course. When you're in my line of work, you get used to it. There's always two people who get very wrapped up in the story or have a really strong connection with it. So you can't really hold it too much against them, because yeah, that's just natural. It's usually irrational and childish, but it happens. Yeah, what was... No, I didn't want... No, I used the bomb again. Didn't mean to do that. All he knows, Ellie and Abby better not be... I was kind of expecting Last of Us 2 to get like a DLC story as well, like, you know, the first one did. Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Oh! That's good, like getting eaten by a bobbit worm. Which is a personal nightmare of mine.
You never played it, just making fun of the GameSpot review? Ah, oh, I see. Actor who played Owen, started recording stuff at Naughty Dog, and... Who was Owen again? Abby's fuck buddy, okay. Didn't he die, though? Why would he be recording new stuff? Unless they're going to do some more prequel stuff or something like that. Well, I guess you could be a flag. That's what everyone wants, right? The flashback where you play as Abby and only Abby. Make all the gamers happy. Could be, or they could do like he, she has like keeps having memories of him or something. She's haunted by trauma. Looks like this is the way I gotta go. Oh, I'm 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 almost, I'm down to my last bullet chat. I'm not in a good shape. I've been a bit too over generous in using my ammo. Passage that way, huh? It'll look down, I think it's probably down below me. God, we are made of glass. <laughs> There we are. Wait, isn't there a tunnel here? That's dumb. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm screwed. I got no way of fighting. This is my grappling hook can kill. Nope. Guess I just gotta run. And it got me in the cock. Right, I think I'm just screwed. I can no longer move forward because I got no ammo. So I think we're we're you know played enough of that demo and that's pretty good. I like that game. Not too shabby, chat. It's got promise. Alright, next game. Let's see. Hmm. We got three demos left, chat. Would you like to see happy game demo? We need some, you know, positivity. All this, you know, Last of Us talk has, you know, got all of you very anxious. Let me, you know, ease yourself with Happy Game. Please note, Happy Game is not a happy game. Fuck, I was... Ah, why did I get so... I was led astray. Changes made to Mass Effect 1, including a lot of man hours going into making the Mako not a nightmare to drive. Uh, I've been reading that they've also uh, 
Uh, don't have the camera shots that linger on uh, Miranda's ass anymore, too. Uh, sorry, no ass, no pass. That was a key point of Mass Effect 2 and its plotline. It looks like a point-and-click adventure game now that I look at it. Do they really think people were upset over Miranda's ass? No, we can't have the camera show that off. I mean, they actually had a point, too. She, she felt uh, like everyone was only judging her on her beauty. And they were, like, making a point that you, too, the player, were judging her on those same standards. Integral to the plot. Well, it was integral to her character. They're, I mean, I'm making a really stupid point here, but they, they did have those moments where they show her ass. Usually when she was talking about everyone only, you know, notices her for her beauty. So it was kind of the game's way of pointing out, like, hey, you're staring at her ass right now, aren't you? You're doing the same thing everyone else does to her. This feels like a Henry Stickman adventure game. Trying it, opening a prison is hard. Doing it straight up is actually doesn't work. Oh, never mind. Oh, I, I've seen this manga. This is berserk, only in cute form. How goes it? We've been playing demos all night, Akoka. How about you? This is unsettling at all. Don't worry, it'll get cute. We just, yo, know, called forth the god hand, though, I think. You're confused of what's going on? I think it's a kid having a nightmare. Writing up a story of your game you're working on. This reminds me of that YouTube series, like, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Where they try to be cutesy, but they're actually just fucked up. Needs more weird songs, though. Little Misfortune. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that game. Never played it, though. But I think that has more narrative in it, though. Mm. 
Oh, I see. Have I played Lis Lisa the Paint? Well, I have not. What, play uh, the Little Misfortune? I might do it at some point. It's not really you know, high on my list of things to do. It is like a weird little old game, isn't it? I just know at one point there's a moment where the narrator is like, ah, oh, the smell of hormones. And I was like, what the fuck when I saw that in a video? Because he was talking to a little girl. I was like, Jesus, game. Weird, but enjoyable. Yeah, it's meant to be like a weird little mindfuck, isn't it? But all of these games are like basically somewhat similar to Henry Stickman. Maybe I just gotta stand in the light. Something tells me this isn't right. Hmm. I don't know what to do with these things. Maybe I gotta stand in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with the teddy bear. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe I use this to cut through the wall? How's the wallpaper? It seems, uh, I'm not a fan of wallpaper. How about you, chat? Seems kind of tacky to me. Oh. Drop, drop the head. Wallpaper. Yeah, I've, I've never liked wallpaper though. I don't even like wood paneling. Changing every time, chat. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Twice in one night. This isn't what I gotta do, right? Maybe I take this back to something further back, I don't know. There's still more to do here.
I will perform a magic trick. Drawing got a bit weird. I think that's the point. Can't get the monkey symbol. I've said before, monkey, those clingy symbol monkeys are only for horror. They exist only for one thing. I guess I'm just supposed to leave now. That's why the arrow is there. Monkey. Lift you up. <laughs> Are you gonna watch Godzilla vs. Kong when it releases? Probably not. I don't really like care much about movies these days. Guess I gotta lift one of these other ones up. Also, Harley Cola, thank you for subscribing, my man. There we go, monkey. You know, I never asked you this before in one of your videos from a while back. You mentioned Truck Kun. Do you watch a lot of anime or more of a casual fella? I actually don't watch watch a lot. Is that a penis in the middle, by the way? It kind of looks like your sack. I actually don't watch a lot of anime, but I do read manga every once in a while. And I, I do know about your, your anime and manga memes, so I know about Truck Kun from that. Chad, you know you see it. Look at that. Hope anyone doesn't have, like, he is prone to seizures right now. Do I know Binchkun? I don't know Binchkun. Tell me about Binch Kun. You know what this reminds me of more than anything else now that I think about it? It reminds me of Salad Fingers. Have you ever seen that chat, or you probably maybe even heard of it? It's like a flash animation that was on you know Newgrounds, and you know they moved to YouTube. I get a Salad Fingers vibe from it. Fuck is Salad Fingers? It was like a really fucked up uh, series of cartoons on Newgrounds and you know, YouTube and stuff. You were gonna say that? Yeah, it, it's kind of like a you know, internet famous from those time those days, like the, those mid two thousands, I think. Ugh. Didn't the guy who made salad fingers base it off the drug trips he had? I don't really know the lore of it. I just know that it was messed up. Oh, it's like a carjack.
Ja. What was the name of the previous game? Solid Fingers wasn't a game. It was a, it was a cartoon series on Newgrounds and YouTube. How many of you ever watched Broken Saints on Newgrounds? Since we're in a Newgrounds, the old talking point at this point now. All for a ball chat. Have you never seen Happy Tree Friends? I've seen Happy Tree Friends. I actually mentioned Happy Tree Friends. Oh, I also mentioned uh, uh, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, which is also a pretty good one. What was the game called that was pre-alpha? Oh, I forgot the name of it. Well, all of them are technically pre-alpha, but I'll, I'll look at the list of it again after I finish this demo. Did I watch Foamy the Squirrel? I did watch Foamy the Squirrel. Not a lot of it, but I did see some of the earlier ones. I think it's still around, isn't it? Or did they? Did he finally bring it to an end? So I'm pretty sure I looked at that a couple of years back, and it was still he's still making new episodes. It's still going. Wow. He's been doing that almost like 20 years then, or over 20 years maybe. Does he still, I mean, what does he have left to rant about at this point? <laughs> Not really sure what to do here, chat. This one's not quite as obvious. Notice the handprints? Oh, I see. Good eye on you. Good eye. Happy game. <laughs> that was all right. I mean, there's not a lot to it, but I guess you know about the journey. I don't know what the game just crashed too. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, by the way, that game that I, uh, whoever was asking about it, the game where I was, I'm guessing where I was underground is called the hidden. It's called Hidden Deep. If you're asking about that spelunking game. 
All right, we have two demos left that I've downloaded. We will play Guilt the Deathless Alpha. Imagine this being what you see during a coma. You know, I have, that's something I would hate to know, that if you actually have dreams and they're like endless nightmares while you're in a coma for a couple months. Did you actually hear recently about that guy who went to a coma at the beginning of last year and then just now woke up? So he missed out the, on the entire pandemic? It's like something you'd write in a book. Oh my, oh no. This doesn't look good. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of difference between the male and female. You'll face more or less the, the torso shape. I'm like a, you know, a caveman patchwork doll. That'll do. Passion increases how much spell and inspiration you get. You see it, don't you? In an eye's blink, this lustrous realm was reduced. A lustrous re what did I just walk into? I saw the words passion and now lustrous. Hey. Our world has become trapped. Trapped in an unseen spiral decay. You know, there was a there is a demo you can also play called uh uh, that's literally a, 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 a first-person horror game about, you know, sex. It's like a Lovecraftian thing. I, I played it like months ago. It is pretty crappy. But it ended with me getting like a blowjob from some cult and which transported me to another world. Full of like alien meat walls. And it's like, really? What have I been smoking? I didn't make the game. The Groaning Library of Morkoff. Yeah, lust for darkness or something. Is this a Dark Souls game? I think this is a Dark Souls game. Play that game now, it's not good. I mean, you can play the demo if you want. Vagrant's Rusty Sword, sure. Yeah, this is like a shitty Dark Souls game. Crappy sex bait game? Yeah, this... It was just bizarre. It's, it started, you're playing as like some kind of sex addict or something. And he gets lured to this abandoned theater by someone for a hookup. And they're like part of a cult that believes that like sex can take you to another world called Lustiga. I'm not kidding, by the way. And then you get captured by the cult and they make one of them give you a blowjob and that transports you to a, you know, another dimension. Like, this is video games, is it? Well, I can tell you right now, this game feels like shit. Takes a little bit more of the old talent to make a Dark Souls game, I think. Well, just well, I it's there if you want to check it out. I'm not joking about anything I just said. Lust for Darkness is made by the same people who made Agony? No, it's not made by the same people who made Agony. It has a similar look to it in some places, but not the same devs. I think the, the developers who made Agony are currently working on a follow-up game to that where you play as a succubus that also is full of sex and weirdness.
Also available on the... Wait, that game's available on the Nintendo Switch? Sounds like a 14-year-old imagination of what sex is like. Well, that's probably who they're hoping buys it at the very least. Hmm. But if you're hoping for like, you know, porn and horniness out of it, there's really just that one moment where you get a blowjob, you know, first person. The rest of it was just like a boring, like, you'll find all these items if you want to get to me thing. So if you're looking for porn, you, you can get it easier. Wonder's key. This, this is actually feeling like a... Like a mix of like bad Dark Souls with that your know, bad medieval like a bad medieval game. You, you survived, absolved of your sins, perhaps. <laughs> Don't even scissor. Well, that's usually for the ladies. This cataclysm, our world in ruin. <laughs> Is this Gaul's reckoning, or the work of that defiled sorcerer Cache? They're trying so hard, chat. It's cute. But then I look at my character, and I'm just like, what am I? I'm like a Kindle. Cyberpunk said it's for everyone. I don't see it being as effective for the dudes, though. I just ate my, my Estus flask. I didn't mean to. Take the goddamn key! I got guilt from that. I feel bad. Dude played Dark Souls 2 in real life. I mean, I'd probably want to start with 1. And then skip 2 and go to 3. Two guys scissoring sounds painful? Well, you know, I don't know how it's really going to be effective either. Oh my, huh? Got all these branching paths. And it seems like they're all forest lairs. What? Alright, give me storm clouds. No? Nope. Oh, we're in the Thunder Plains again. Yeah, Chad, I don't recommend buying this one. You better, you better, you'd be better off playing Diablo. Have ever played Slay the Spire? No, it's like a you know, deck building game, isn't it? Afflicted with Morbus. I don't even know what that is. Maybe I should have downloaded the sex game. At least I want to give you something to talk about. Hmm. I'm getting equipment. I'm not even really interested in putting it on. You can download it now. I mean, yeah. I've already kind of played it, though. This feels like a PS1 game, I guess, with your know, HD graphics. Well, HD graphics in quotation marks.
we are talking about things like cyberpunk thinking gay sex is scissoring. Maybe that maybe that's a thing over there in Poland. That's how they do it over there. I'm sure it's possible. I just don't really see how it would be very effective. Just please kill me, end it. I think we're done with that one. You'll never have sex with a Polish man? Well, unless you're a lady or a gay dude, you don't have no reason to. Welcome to guilt. You are, you know, I'm done. I think I'm good. How do I leave? I want out. I want, take me back! Do not fear. You see it. How yeah, yeah, yeah. You bi dudes have a reason too? Well, I guess, yeah. I always forget about that. Then you'll, there are the buys. How the fuck do you get out of this game? They don't want, they won't let you leave. All right. You, f you forced my hand. Oh, you can't even alt tab out of this? No, that can't be right. All right. Extreme measures are needed. Put the gun against his head. Pull the trigger. Now he's dead. All right. Uh, yeah, that, that game was shit. So I got one more demo chat. And it's apparently the, one of the better ones that people have been playing out of, out of it based on uh, what I saw. It's called Potion Craft. I don't know if it'll be the, my kind of thing, but we'll give it a shot. Potion seller, I'm going into battle. I require your strongest potions. Gotta head to bed, Jim. See you, late. See you later. So, I think it's one of those the old alchemy. It's like an alchemy game. The story begins. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. On an old abandoned house on the edge of town, judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, former owners seem to have practiced alchemy. Apparently a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggests that it has been empty for a long time. Time to make drugs, either that or lead into gold. So I had to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. Time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. Adding ingredients to the cauldron. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarians and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them into the cauldron. To move ingredients, click and hold the mouse, drag them into the cauldron, and let go. Pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall. It will show you the path and ingredients create once they reach the cauldron. Flop. Flop. I guess that was wrong. Maybe you need more. Right, yeah, okay. After adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired position. Stirring allows the potion icons to collect experience points. Accumulating experience lets you level up, but it has no effect on the current position. Uh, two terrarias and two water blooms, huh? Now the potion icon is touching the unknown effect. To find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect of the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to boil you know, the bellows. Perfect, you've added a new effect to the potion. Healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. Uh... You did it, Harry. You're an alchemist, I guess. Nope. Hmm. 
Mortar and Pestle are Alchemist's best friends. You can use the Mortar and Pestle to grind up practically any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create... I don't... Mm, business Sims. I gotcha. Take Terraria from your inventory. Place it in the Mortar and grind it up with a pet Pestle. Mm, sure, I got gotcha. you. I got you, man. Add Terraria to the cauldron. You ain't kidding me, that ain't Terraria, that's just the old, that's just the old, it's a kush. Completely grind the water bloom into the mortar. This feels like a kid's learning game. Hmm. Wait, did you get to see snow at all? We got a little bit of snow here. Saving a potion recipe, excellent, you know, no. Save recipe. I've done it. Move between rooms. You are now the owner of a potion shop. Your task is not only to brew potions, but also sell them to the customers. A customer has arrived. Go to the shop for moving between the rooms. Use the navigation buttons at the edges of the screen. Or the waskies or the arrow keys. Go to the top. To go to the shop, click that navigation button on the left. Or press the A key. Uh, navigation button on the left. What's up, Babby? How you doing? Don't know if you just got here, but we've been playing demos all night. We're just about done, though. I think. Offering potions for every day. People from all over the town, and even from other rooms. Towns will... You know, just sell my shit, I got it. Offer a potion for sale. Take it from your inventory and place it on the side of the scale. Selling potions, the amount of gold you will receive from selling a potion is shared in the sell button. Click the sell button. Yeah, give me that 11 gold. Here's a love potion. Uh, press haggle. Oh, no, 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 no. I know I oh, didn't haggle enough. You just got here, but you could tell based off the stream name. Yeah, we, we played a bunch. There's been a couple good ones. The best one was the first one, though, I think. Go to the Enchanted Garden. Other ingredients, you know, give me that, give me that. Making a poison. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but it's just not my kind of game. Guess that worked. Maybe. I unlocked a new effect. Finish. Right, save the recipe. And you'll... Here you get some poison. Don't tell me what you're going to do with it. Uh... This is haggling, by the way. See you later, Akoga. You have a good night. Bedroom. When the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It's located by the laboratory. Go to the bedroom and end the day. End the day. Click on the bed and confirm you want to end the day. No, I want to write a message. Uh, end of tutorial. All right, let, let's make some potion chat. Or something. I gotta make something to sell them for the, the people. We're just gonna guess at it, then we don't know what we'll get. Whoops, I think I just traced backwards. Don't do that. Make meth? Uh, I don't have any codeine. This will make something. I'm not sure what, though. Oh, yeah, I got a stir. Potion valve. Shit. <laughs> right. 
Try again. Science chat. You, you do it until you get it right. This will do something. What is this? I'll pour water from the ladle and move the potion toward the center of the map. Oh, I think I shouldn't have done that. I think I just screwed myself. I think that's to reset it or something, isn't it? Yeah. chemistry in my head toward I'm not sure we'll find out in a second we gotta make at least something to sell right I I am bad at alchemy apparently Uh, you're making maple flavored napalm. I it seems like we're making a whole lot of just yellow stuff that will you'll taste terrible and isn't actually making anything. I'm just gonna mix everything. Whoops. Good. More stuff. Try paying attention to where the dot I am, but I just can't get it to go anywhere I want. I guess I should like go you know, uh, do this. That one looks like it leads somewhere. Here, put some mushroom in there. The potion bottle starts empty when you move. When it's empty, the potion fails. Well, we got some time. I think you can pour more water into it with this, though. I think it just makes it go back to the center. This is a weird, weird shit, chat. Maybe add some more ingredients. This feels like it'd be a mini game and something else. Ah. Chat likes weird. I, I don't, though. Not my kind of game. But we played it, that's all that matters. Now I'm almost out of ingredients. <laughs> What are the books I'm going over? A uh, level is this experience. Did you see that cultist simulator game? Uh, I think I saw, but I didn't download it. Oh, there's something there. There's some kind of potion there. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, we unlocked a new effect. I don't know if that's a new potion. No, finish the potion. What do we get? Potion of mana. Alright, let's sell it. Alchemist, give me a healing potion. Nope. You get mana. You don't need this potion? Get out of my shop. You're not strong enough for my potions, traveler. 
Why potions? There's that's that's the only meme you can make while playing this, right? My potions are strong enough to kill a beast. I see the word bondage cows and pussy in chat. What are you talking about? <laughs> There we go. Potion of healing. Here you go. You're paying good price for it, though. Uh, I at a high price. Good afternoon. We are trouble in our field. They're eating our harvest and they're doing it fast. We need poison to kill. I think I might have ingredients for making poison, though. No, we can make, we can make some poison. Poison. I don't know how the haggling works. Uh, I've had some strange super that I need to feel good. Do you have anything for a troubled gut? Uh, mana? No. I don't know what, I don't know what helps the stomach. Maybe healing again. Get more ingredients? I think I have to wait for them to grow, all right. Pepto-Bismol, exactly. Or Tums. Oh, he just wanted a healing potion. Uh... Show me your goods. Uh, how much money do I have? I have uh, 174. Uh, haggle that price down. I don't think that worked. <laughs> Whatever. Just, just I'll pay a fine price for it, traveler. It's strong and fast-acting poison. I feels like the game you'll play by listening to a podcast. It feels like yeah, it's not a bad game, but it's really not for me. I think we're done too. Actually, I've played all my demos and I got nothing left. I've kind of got the gist of this game, I think. So, chat. I think that's gonna be it. New horny game? You can play that on your own. I've already played the horny game demo. It's not good, trust me. You're not even getting much horny action out of it. What game next time? Don't know. I'm still thinking of playing something older. So I'll play when I stream tomorrow, it'll probably be an older game. I was planning to do it tonight, but I decided to do the demos instead. Boy, you have a bit more variety. And we got nearly a full-size stream out of it. Pong, yes. Not that old. But, chat, that's going to be it for tonight. Bit of a weird, slightly shorter stream, but hey, it's fun all, the, all around. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe check out some of the demos yourself. There's a bunch that I didn't play. There's a lot more demos that were you know, available. You can get them all on Steam's festival right now. So, if you feel so inclined, be my guest. I will hope to see you all tomorrow, so stop by again. Hit the follow button if you haven't. Join the Discord if you haven't as well. There's a link in chat. Thank you for subs and gift subs tonight, as well as bits, and thank you to the mods as well, and thanks to chat for being chill. Chat, it's been my honor to do a weird stream, one-off stream for you. Hopefully you enjoyed. 
Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Till then though, you have a good night. Later everyone.